Sasha Stone, you and I are both admirers of President Trump. We are both aghast at the economic wreckage that has been caused by this uh, attack on President Trump, on China, on the world economy. We all now know, as I said in my first article, that it is the media that has wrecked the world economy, the lies that have wrecked the world economy, not the virus, which is now known to be nothing more than a variation of the seasonal flu. I'd like to now just turn this over to you and invite you to comment as you wish. It's now known that all of the models, including Martin Armstrong's model, are showing that we will take 13 years to recover if we don't open the economy no later than 1 May. My hope is that the president is fully aware of all of this. I invite you to comment to our audience. Well, every, all of these prognostications about uh, crippling um, unemployment figures and uh, decades to recover and restore the economy are all moot if you consider uh, that we may be on the eve today of uh, the declaration of a jubilee and a redemption. And again, I'm talking about the National Economic, Social and Reform Act. Um, and for that, you can also read GESAR, the Global Economic, Social and Reform Act. Since you and I spoke, um, couldn't have been much more than about 10 days ago or two weeks ago at the most. Um, it, it, so much appears to have happened to be setting the stage for precisely that kind of event. I'm desperately interested to know what uh, President Trump was referring to in his last address. Um, uh, I'm not sure if it was yesterday or a couple of days ago, but the one where he mentioned that on Tuesday he would be uh, uh, turning sights on the World Health Organization. I think, I think that is the essential piece because if you are looking for the Achilles heel of, uh, of the, the, the Sabbatean element, which is clearly orchestrated um, planetary pandemonium and catastrophic failure to all intents and purposes of 150 plus countries of the world into that same orchestrated pandemonium. You really need to look no further than the World Health Organization, the Center for Disease Control, Imperial uh, College, and the papers that were issued uh, there from at the genesis of this pandemic. And before that, you would need to look at the Purbright Institute, courtesy, of course, of uh, the Wellcome Trust and the Gates Foundation, and behind that, uh, uh, Kinetic, Q-Inetic. And that, I think, is really your bang, 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 bang dominoes if you're really looking at an Achilles heel. I hope that I'm not one of these um, sort of ragtag conspiracy theorists um, in, in thinking this, but I genuinely believe we are moving fast to the eve of a jubilee. Now, it could be, in my view, as soon as tomorrow, 50-50. I mean, why is President Donald Trump not making speeches from the podium with the presidential seal? To my mind, that has not ever happened before. Why is he saying he will address the World Health Organization on Tuesday and deferring the question coming from the press bank? A very important pressing question that was put to him in, in, his, last, in his last address. Um, and, and why did he on two or three occasions in that same address state quite clearly, I have been proud to serve as your president. Is he about to step down as POTUS? Is he about to step down as the illicit CEO of the American corporation and declare as his last act as commander in chief, Nesara and Gesara, sign that bill into motion, declare a 120 day lead line to the election, which will almost certainly see him come back uh, on, on the biggest landslide victory in the history of politics, forget US politics, worldwide. Is that likely to happen? I genuinely believe it may well happen. If, if Robert, there is a jubilee announced, uh, IRS is defanged, not declawed, defanged. The Federal Reserve defanged, not declawed, it's already been declawed. A thing with claws is dangerous. It's when you get to the fangs and defang it that you know you've decommissioned it. And I believe that if he decommissions the Fed, by extension, that would mean the IRS, okay? Then I think you're talking a jubilee. Whether he announces that this week or on the 1st of May or even later in the year is anyone's guess. But all the signs I'm seeing are that we are about to look at a huge seismic event of, of, of similar proportion. That's absolutely spectacular. It's certainly, I know a lot of people have been asking the question, why is the presidential seal 
not in evidence. And I believe that we have not had a military coup. I believe that President Trump is completely in charge and that people are severely, seriously underestimating him. And I would point out to people that Jack Welch, who has passed recently, said after meeting with Donald Trump, whatever you might say about this guy, he is the only president I've ever met that is like a peer, who can talk business, who gets it, who understands all of this stuff. Well, I don't think I can add to that. I think you've made a very eloquent statement that I'm prepared to post immediately unless there are other questions that you think we should bring out. Well, I, I, would, ju I would just caveat by adding to it to those people who may be interested in this possible scenario, and that is that um, st stepping down as POTUS is not stepping away. It is effectively an act, a noble and very courageous and very proper act uh, of, of dissolution of the illicit corporation government of the U United States of America in order to transition into a constitutional republic. So he is about to announce as well, I believe on Tuesday, I, I, I imagine it's tomorrow's Tuesday, he is about to announce also this new council um, to, to restore the United States or to, re to restore America. I believe that that council may be an interim move toward stepping down as POTUS and then enacting Nassara and Jubilee and redemption. But either which way, it appears all the, all the signs are, in my view, that we're on the eve of that kind of event, whether it's now or on the 1st of May or slightly thereafter. And honestly, as, as, a, as a pundit, I have never been as excited. Well, I'm excited also, and I'm certainly glad to have been one of the early declarers uh, for Trump and against Hillary Clinton. Uh, I'm concerned because suicides are now climbing, uh, domestic violence is climbing, and I believe that if he does not announce a hard date in the future, and I think I'm with Martin Armstrong, no later than one May, but ideally a week beforehand. If he does not announce a hard date in the next few days, then I think we're also going to see active shooters. I believe that the administration is seriously underestimating the fear, the anger, and the deep emotional distress that this shutdown has caused across America, particularly among the impoverished whites and the impoverished blacks. Well, don't forget that the reason for um, this um, uh, a quarantine and this kind of staged scenario, as we mentioned uh, in our last uh, conversation, that uh, it was both of our consideration that we were dealing with the inversion logic uh, taking place within the counter coup on a 5D chessboard. And all the moves we've seen in the last two weeks continue to indicate that. We're looking at alliance really between the United States and China and, and, and Russia in some bizarre sense. If you saw uh, Boris Johnson's address to the General Assembly that he just gave, why is the General Assembly of the United Nations empty? Why? This is, a, this is a United Kingdom Prime Minister, the second most powerful man on the face of the earth. It's normally full. I've been there, I know. The General Assembly is full when the UK Premier is giving his peace. I can tell you why, because it's most likely that half of the permanent representatives to the United Nations have fled back home. And it's not to do with Corona. Those that weren't picked up by the FBI in the, la FBI in the last couple of years when they left the building, uh, and that, that I've had from firsthand um, accounts by uh, people uh, connected to the United Nations. So th there has been a huge, huge uh, ch musical chairs going on at the multilateral level, that much we know. Boris Johnson gives an extraordinary speech in which he doesn't step away from vaccines, curiously enough. He plays two cards. He doesn't step away from them. He actually applauds modern medical science and the wonders of biotech and AI and all that stuff. He does raise huge concerns over artificial intelligence taking over and us turning into a Borg species. He gives an incredibly colorful speech on the horror of the specter of a new world order. He delivered that to the floor of the General Assembly and then went on to, say, to state and to underscore the fact that the United Kingdom was setting itself up to be world leader in innovative technology. Innovative technology, not manufacture, that's China. That's the deal. China will still be manufacture based in this new, this new Earth Alliance. Uh, Britain will restore uh, its own, uh, its, its own uh, standard a major leader and the United States in my will lead the free world into redemption due
and standing down about standing down from usury. Ask Vladimir Putin. He's the man who got uh, Russia out of the claws of the IMF recently. Let me point out that the speech that you're referring to took place some time ago before he went into intensive care. Um, and I would also observe that I believe the president needs to move toward ejecting the United Nations from New York City and leaving all of the specialized agencies that have become captive fronts for the deep state. Uh, one question that everyone is asking me, save the children is the antithesis to the deep state. And Lexington and Concord are streets in New York that are on top of what's called Wonderland. I have seen no evidence myself that children are being saved, but you and others have assured me that this is actually happening. Why don't we end on that note? Because I do believe that the one issue that will unite all Americans going forward is an understanding that child abuse and child torture and satanic ritual abuses will no, rituals will no longer be tolerated in the United States of America. Why don't you end with a comment on that? Happ happily so, and I can only underscore what I've, I've stated uh, previously, and that is that this is such an unbelievably incendiary subject. It is beyond contention. It is incendiary that you have got to shoehorn this kind of narrative into the popular domain in an incredibly articulated way if you don't want to create a shit storm that you cannot recover from this is the kind of thing that in, in a sense unlocks all the prison cells and everyone goes out in the streets and goes ballistic when they discover that sabotean ritual satanic abuse blood harvesting adrenal chrome harvesting uh, trafficking pedophilia all of that has indeed been um, the underpinning, the source code of our mutant civilization, which, which long-standing veterans and researchers, investigators like yourself, and to some extent myself, are absolutely certain of in our own minds. Not least because you and I sat in Westminster, London, at the uh, judicial inquiry, and we heard first-hand testimonies from countless victims and survivors, investigators, and, and commissioners. So the fact of the matter is, that story has not gone away. Is it likely to find its way on the front page? No, sir, it is not yet. Why? Because before you give a bitter pill like that to a civilization, you give them a big spoonful of honey first. The honey is jubilee, is redemption. And then you give the bitter pill. Otherwise, you cause seismic, psycho-civilizational meltdown. That works for me. And let me give a shout out to someone that you and I both know, West Point graduate Joaquim Hagopian, whose book oh. I have been sponsoring, and it's free online to everyone. It's called Pedophilia and Empire, Satan, Sodomy, and the Deep State. He's just published chapter 34. That book, free online, is at tinyurl.com forward slash pedo empire. And you might even consider that book a primer for citizen understanding toward what I hope will be, as you say, a jubilee, save the children, and America restored. God bless you, Sasha Stone. God bless America, and God bless the President of the United States of America.